This is a front wheel hub for a 944 and I'm going to show you my favorite way to remove the races. So what we have here are the steel tapered bearing races. We've got the outer bearing, we've got the inner bearing, and you'll notice that there's these notches inside the hub. You know, there's a notch on both the left and the right side. And what that's for is to give you a little bit of room of clearance to put your punch in so that you're hammering on the, the lip of the race. Um, otherwise, there's not much to grab on. But if you just hammer on that, there's a few things that happen. You're really close to the, to the wall, you know, the, the part of the aluminum that the race goes against. And it's very easy to scratch up. And these aluminum hubs, the aluminum is pretty soft. And if you wear or scrape some of that aluminum out, even if there's some aluminum that kind of comes out with the bearing race, you start losing material for your interference fit. And eventually, um, there's not going to be enough material to hold the race stationary. And so the race is going to start to move in your hub. That's going to cause the, you know, the bearing to fail and the hub to fail. And it's, um, it's pretty avoidable, and it's not something you want to have happen. You know, a 944 is 30 years old, maybe more. So, you know, we, we want to try to treat this aluminum pretty nicely, preserve the parts that are out there. So, instead of just hammering these races out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my MIG welder, and I'm going to weld a bead on this race all the way around. And what that's going to do is the weld is going to go on very hot, and as it cools, it's going to contract, and it's actually going to squeeze that race in a little bit, making the race uh, less tight fit with the aluminum. And then when I hammer it out, it's going to deform the aluminum less than normal, so it'll help preserve the hub. Now that I've let the hub cool down some, and the weld cool down, I'm ready to, uh, to tap it out. And now it's going to take much less force and much less hammering than it would have otherwise. And I'm tapping a little bit on each side to make sure it doesn't get too crooked. So again, so it doesn't score up the mating surface. So I have gently removed this race. And now I'll do the other side. This side's almost falling out. It's taking very little force. It's more just preventing it from getting crooked is the deal. And there, I feel that I've done my very best to preserve the integrity of these aluminum hubs. For putting bearing races in, I like a sealed driver or bearing driver kit like this. What it is, is each one of these is, is a little tapered aluminum puck with a little handle you can use. But it does a few things. The first thing is, the taper on this is going to ensure that you install the bearing in the right direction because it's not going to nest the bearing this way. The 
second thing it's going to do is it's going to apply all the force to the top edge of the bearing so you don't scratch up any of the inside surfaces. And then it's just a little bit smaller diameter than the actual race itself, so it's going to slide in and let you seat it all the way down. And then by hammering with this in the center, you're applying an even force all the way around so it doesn't get crooked. I like to heat the hubs up a little bit because they're aluminum. They will expand and it'll make it easier for the races to go in to their, their little pockets, their little seats there without disturbing too much of the metal, the aluminum around there. And then as the hub cools, it'll shrink and make a tighter fit. These are already pretty warm. I'm just going to heat them up a little bit. You could also put them in an oven or do something else to heat them up. You're probably looking to get the hubs up to about 200 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm now ready to put a race in there and use my driver and hammer it into place. you noticed but on that last hammer strike the pitch changed a bit and it actually bounced up more that means the race is fully seated